Hello everyone, it's Richard Audrey here. I decided to do a review about Roller Coaster of Friendship. This is the second review I'm doing about Equestria Girls series. I only noticed this one a few weeks ago when I first saw a small trailer for this. I thought it, would, it was going to be another short episode from this web series but but it wasn't it was almost like the friendship forgotten it was like almost like that one i can't even say about much about this series or about this one particular when i first heard this theme park named equestria land I thought, is this going to be based from the main six? Well, from Sunsets and her friends, remember her human friends, about her, about the adventures if, in in the human world. But it wasn't much much I expect from it. Even for to see that Applejack and Rarity were expected to get some work at this theme park. But it wasn't that much like that. It turns out Rarity didn't get the job she was supposed to have, but she got another one. A fashion designer for the parade in the theme park. And that is actually not a bad idea, since she is a fashion designer, so why would you? That is one great opportunity for her, and especially if you want to be noticed by others fashion designs out there, but at the same time, to see that this, the main characters in the Netflix, well, Vinjet Valencia, or, well, I call her Valencia, she is, well, she was not, not expected at first, I thought maybe she was going to be some, a minor villain. But she wasn't a villain in the first begin. She only became like the a villain like like character after her phone was somehow affected by a quest of magic. And about that. Since we have seen in Friendship Forgotten about an ancient Equestria stone, the many stone, the memory stone, and then in, in the end of Legend of Everfree, we all know now that there is our equestrian magic. But the question is then, is that magic more corrupt? Who knows? But I don't even think so. This magic can be acting like any good ways or bad ways, it depends how where it ends up with. In this case, it was actually end up being in her, Valencia's phone. She had no idea what happened. And when we saw that when she used the phone on things that she didn't like, like the food, well, that was only for a mistake. Or mostly because of that she used the phone on like the main six because she didn't want to have them around there she thought maybe they could be that she didn't like them she thought maybe she could use her phone to replace the sonic rainbows or the rainbows with holographic images with her phone and that she could sing a new song and we can see that Applejack was very much suspicious about her not at the beginning but later on when she saw that Valencia was talking to Flutter, Fluttershy and suddenly Fluttershy was gone and she tried to, uh, to ask them about friends but they had seen her but they haven't and it's special to see that Sunset and Twilight were acting was acting with Flame and Flam at the booth to some game so almost like the, the acting almost like they were addicted to win. 
But even they had offered tried so many times the the Flame Brothers they they felt a little bit guilt about it. So they offered her this plushie as a gift as the much had they tried. And I think almost like this their game was actually rigged. But I'm not, not so sure about the end. And even to see Fluttershy with Rainbow Dash at this roller coaster, at first we can notice why Fluttershy was, well, afraid. And that I thought when I saw that they were in the roller coaster, I thought maybe Fluttershy was already scared, which it turns out she was at first. But at Rainbow, I thought maybe she wouldn't be that scared. But absolutely not. At first, she was very brave, and she even tried to get hell on it. But after she thought about, she studied the roller coaster and told herself about what happens if they could somehow, instead of her, move up and straight down. She was literally terrified. When after they saw, after this, the travel of this roller coaster was over. Rainbow was still terrified, but to see the Fluttershy actually enjoy it, that was not what I expect. I didn't expect that Fluttershy was, would be so terrified she wouldn't even get out of this cart. But the opposite, she actually enjoyed it. That is one sign of Fluttershy I didn't expect to see from, no. But in later on in this in this longer short version movie or whatever they're called, seeing that Fluttershy tends to earn, earns ends up in some white room, and that the rest of the main six were also dinos from Rarity and Applejack, they thought they end up being her in Valencia's phone, and but it turns out they were in another place in in the theme in the theme park. And then we realized, if Valencia, if the crowd didn't like Valencia's singing or or the parade, she would use the phone and teleport every other crowd and the audience into that room, and especially Sweet Belle and the other her friends there. That would not be a great idea, because there were about 50,000 people in the crowd. So many in one room? No. That is a bad idea. But I think, from rather from this, that we can even understand that Applejack felt jealous in in this episode. We all understand that jealousy jealousy can sometimes set us to um well to almost anything. It can just judge, judge you or other people before you even had handled the fact. So my all, my opinion of this, don't get so far jealous before you have no understanding, the basic understanding of if something will happen. That is my opinion on this. If it seems that jealousy can really blind your mind, because you don't realize that if you haven't believed what will happen some things, like in the Applejack's case here, she was blinded by her jealousy because that Rarity had a new friend with Valencia, who she called her best friend. And that she would realize after that she had discovered Valencia's true call, or her purpose, why Fluttershy had disappeared and no one had seen her. Even she tried to convince the others, and even Rarity, that Valencia is evil but that she has used her phone in order to make Fluttershy disappear, and even to see that Ra Rainbow had disappeared as well. So, but the others didn't even believe her at first. Even she tried to use Valencia's, Valencia's phone in order to show them. But it, it turns out she has switched her phone after she realized and even heard that Applejack had came up and found out about her purpose. Even Fluttershy, Applejack tried to convince Rarity that 
Valencia is still evil and using her phone. But in our order to not, they, they, she didn't believe her. In order, to, she thought that Applejack was so jealous because her her job at the theme park and that she was not getting any work there, and that she was so jealous about, especially that she rarely had a new friend and that she called her the best friend and that she has a work at the theme park and not her. But in the end. Rarity found out that that Valencia had trapped other her friends by her phone. But after she found out that she tried to stop her by using her diamond shaped barrier magic in order to prevent her to be taken. If she doesn't she haven't do it, she would likely would teleport right on her friends. But she realized that she was actually felt guilt that she didn't believe Rainbow Jack, sorry Applejack, after she had tried to convince them, especially Rarity, that everything she told them was true. But ready from that, she felt guilty, and I can understand why she felt like that. If that was, if that was me, I would have felt the same way. But it was a bit funny to see, try to see that Apple, the others thought they were in the in Valencia's phone, and that Apple, Twilight thought that she could hack into the rest of the phone. But, but since Applejack could hear her voice even closer, and they found out they were in a small room. But I do think that jealousy can really blind you when you don't even thought or even listen to other friends or even first collect and gathering the data the fact first information about listen to others and, and before you bring conclusion that that person is a bad one if you do it it might cause some damage to your friendship to your other friends or perhaps even your best friend so before all of you do this and that, listen, don't make any conclusion before you had all the information. That is my conclusion about jealousy. I have been jealous for many times, but I realized it isn't worth to be jealous like that. No. And what I do think about this one, roller coaster of friendship. Well, it was not what I expect from what the first thriller I saw about it, but still, it was actually quite funny to see it. It had its great moments and bad moments, but it still learns how much they have focused and how much they continue to with Quasar Girls franchise after the other other movies. So I think roller coaster of friendship. Well. It is actually not that bad. I would probably give it a B plus as a rating at the most. I would like to hear what all of you think about this one. If you like it or not, but that is what you have to do. All you can do is leave all of your comments in the comment section below and as always. Subscribe, leave a comment and as always. This is Switch Down Blue over and out.